On pages one and two of our unit four notes, we are looking at multiple ways to represent a relation. A relationship is just a relationship between an independent and a dependent variable. We have an example of a relation here in our situation where we have a bunch of kids, Joe, Griffin, Megan, Sam, and Matt, with their ages and shoe sizes. So there's a relationship between their age, which we think of as the independent variable, and the shoe size of these kids, which we think of as dependent. In general, we think of our shoes getting bigger as we get older, so shoe size depending on age. We don't think of our age depending on our shoe size. Oh, your shoes have gotten bigger, you must be older. So age independent, shoe size dependent. Our independent variable is always our x, and our dependent variable is our y. Um, we are comfortable representing um, independent, and de in independent and dependent variables within a table. So this is something we already know how to do. List in within each row of our table an independent dependent pairing. So Joe is 12, x equals 12 with a shoe size of 4, y equals 4. That row represents Joe. We have Griffin, the relationship between his age, 8, shoe size of 4. Different ages, same shoe size, that is just fine. This row represents Megan, her pairing of age of 15, shoe size of 4, 7. <laughs> Sam is 8, independent equals 8, dependent is 1, so x, 8, y, 1. And then finally, Matt, another 15-year-old, this time with a shoe size of 13. So here's our relation. It's the set of all of these pairings of independent and dependent variables. We can represent this table just by listing each of the ordered pairs that are within that table. So x15, y7, each of these are x and y pairings. Those are all of the possible ordered pairs within our relation. You can say, see I already went ahead and wrote that set notation. We need a beginning and an ending set notation. The pretty version is right here. And that just tells me my relation is the set of these five ordered pairs, which I'm going to separate with commas. Again, my relation is my entire um, set of this relationship, all the possible relations, relationships between x and y. We have a 12 and a 4 that go together, an 8 and a 4 that go together, 15 and a 7, 8 and 1, and 15 and 3. So my relation is the, the set of all of these pairings. We also already know how to graph a relation. We just didn't know that we did. We put the independent variable on the x-axis. The y is our dependent. And then each of these ordered pairs, or we could go straight from the table, can be plotted on my graph as a scatter plot. So either going from the ordered pair or the table, we have the point 12, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. My x is 12, my y is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That particular ordered pair, that point, represents Joe. Griffin, x equals 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 y equals 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That point represents Griffin, his pairing of independent and dependent variables. Megan is 15, so I'm going to go from 12, 13, 14, 15. Megan is 15 with a shoe size of 7, so 4, 5, 6, 7. Sam is 8, so back to 8, but this time with a shoe size of 1. And then Matt is 15, this time with a shoe size of 13. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this graph in its entirety represents my relation within this situation of ages and shoe sizes and how they go together. This relation is generally a positive situation, a positive correlation situation. As our ages get older, our shoe sizes get bigger. But the relation here is just these five pairings of independent and dependent variables. The mapping is really the only thing that's new and within the mapping our left circle sometimes it's a rectangle we write our x in here and then we pair those x values with particular y values values of the dependent variable. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and list, preferably in numerical order, all of my possible x values. So my youngest kids are eight, I have a 12 year old, and then my oldest kids are 15. I don't write eight more than once, I don't write 15 more than once. I'll represent the fact that that age appears more than once um, in a different way that I'll show you in a minute. Within the right oval, I write my values of shoe size. Oh, my smallest shoe size isn't four. I wanna write my smallest shoe size as one. I have a shoe size of four, shoe size of seven, and a shoe size of 13. So these are all my possible shoe sizes. So this is my list of independent, my list of dependent variables, and then I represent the relation with arrows going from my independent to my dependent, showing which pair go together. So we represent Joe with an arrow from 12 to four. Sometimes we just do a line and that's okay. I think on some of my answer keys, I just do lines because it's less messy. But really the arrow shows me that the 12 is my independent and it gives me a dependent variable of four. It shows that the four depends on that 12 or that the 12 determines the four. So this arrow from 12 to four shows me my first pairing of independent and dependent, age of 12, shoe size of four. Arrow from eight to four represents Griffin. Griffin has an age that gives me a shoe size of four. Megan, 15, shoe size of seven. That arrow represents Megan. Sam is eight with a shoe size of one. This arrow represents Sam, independent of eight, giving me a dependent of one. And finally, Matt is this arrow going from 15 to 13. This arrow represents that Matt um, has a pairing of an age of 15, giving a dependent variable value of 13, shoe size of 13. So even though I only have three values of X and four values of Y, I know that my relation contains five pairings of independent and dependent because I have five, one, two, three, four, five arrows. On the right, I just practice going from one particular representation to the other representation. So going from the table x equals 1, y equals 3, for example, to the graph, to the mapping, and to the ordered pairs, and you would just do that um, for each of the independent dependent pairings. Here I'm given the ordered pairs, 3 to 4, 3 to 4, and so on and so forth. So you need to be able to go from ordered pair to graph, mapping, and table, um, from table to the other three, from ordered pair to the other three, and from mapping. 